Hey what guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to some more CK2 action. When we last left off, we had a daughter which was good. It kind of secured our our dynasty, uh, which is nice. But we, we really want a son and our wife is pregnant as well. So hopefully she becomes uh, bears us a boy and then we can train him into being the great lord who will take over Byzantine Empire. Because I'm pretty sure I want to do that fairly soon. Oh yeah, did our daughter not even get genius as well? That's so stupid. It's a 50-50 chance of getting genius, and we did not, which is sad times indeed. Because genius just gives you know plus five straight away to all stats. That's just that's just amazing. Like that's just so good. He'd have better like a zero-year-old baby would have better better martial than me straight away. <laughs> so my my zero-year-old child could beat me up in a fight. He would win technically. My wife even has better martial than me. I guess we know who wears the trousers in this relationship. See, so yeah, we haven't actually really got that much to do at the moment. Oh, we took the whole of Sicily as well. Another daughter. And she didn't get genius as well. Oh. We have the whole of Game of Thrones coming on. Oh, yeah, Game of Thrones is tomorrow, isn't it, as well? That's brilliant. Well... It would have already have gone as well. By the time I upload this video, um, it would have already Game of Thrones would have already been. So, oh my God, Game of Thrones was awesome, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> but no, no, I, I hope Game of Thrones is really, really good this season. A lot of good stuff happens in the books, and they're always really loyal to the books from the TV show. So, I'm excited. So, why are we at war and we're not actually? They're attacking this country oh no it's only the, the dukes are attacking oh no we're at war with croatia this is a war we can actually take part in and get some prestige even though i want to have some boys but um apparently we're not allowed to have uh male children it is against uh, <laughs> against the byzantine law because i'm just i'm doomed to have daughters for the rest of my life who are not geniuses so yeah, we can actually uh, put up a nice fight in this war. We can actually get some prestige, which will be good. We can actually hold feast now. And not what we actually be able to siege some lands as well, which will be pretty good. Uh, what are we fighting Croatia for? Just a Dejura, yeah, Dejura claims on Croatia. So let's meet up um, in this province here. We, yeah, we have about 700 men, almost 800 men, which is nice. So if the Byzantians attach their men or we attach our men to the Byzantians, then, oh, they have another 900 coming up anyway. I'm not quite sure why they rose, like, levied all these men. It's kind of stupid. But, oh, well. Yeah, that's something I wish the, the AI wouldn't do, is it lev levies up all the men possible for, like, literally no reason whatsoever. What they should do is they should just levy up the men they need to levy like it just makes so much more sense if that's all they did but are they just running away am i just gonna get caught if i die like if i get caught here that's so stupid no thank god i thought the byzantines were just gonna run away from us this isn't my uprising is it no good oh yeah shit we're charging them let's go ahead and make sure we get into this battle because i want to get involved And we should win this. Like it, the morale's going down quite a bit with our men. It should be a slaughter. Yes, victory. We didn't get any prestige because by the, oh no, we didn't get. We got seven prestige. We didn't get any piety because we are not fighting. Yeah, we are not fighting anyone, any Muslims or any different uh, different religions. Might as well get a bit more prestige. Actually, I don't think we actually do get prestige because I'm not actually the one fighting. I am now going to siege this land. Um, hopefully we get some money through raiding the castle and looting it. Because we're still making money even though we have all our men levied. Which is brilliant. Hopefully we have another child sometime soon. And we have a boy who is genius. That would be brilliant. That would be really, really nice. Our money is also still going up very nicely. Uh, what is this? I express my views on the whole religion and God thing 
a bit too loud and get into a lot of trouble with a priest because of it. God is dead. Lose 15 piety. That's always nice. Um, I kind of want to build a keep. Cavern keeps it just gives you so many men, but it's extremely expensive. But I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Because in the long run, that will give me, yeah, plus 5 Garrison, which is just really nice. And we are seen to take the first castle, which will give us a nice load of money. Yeah, as you can see, the, Ho the Holy Roman Empire has already been created. Holy fuck. That's crazy. I've literally never seen that before. Who is it? It's the Bavarian Duke. So basically what happened is... The Bavarian, the Bavarian king inherited uh, whatever this one is. I can't even remember. I guess it will say. He's, yeah, he, he inherited East Francia. And then I guess he inherited Italy as well. And then he could just instantly form the Holy Roman Empire. That's crazy. So the Holy Roman Empire is already a thing. That's mad. I've never seen that happen before. Literally never. And I've played this scenario like 20 times. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we get 10 gold from that. Lovely. Hopefully the next one will be... Oh no, we, we took our land we wanted. So let's move our men back and de-levy them. Cool beans. Our keep is getting around to being built. It takes forever to build the keep. That's a big old rebellion as well. Byzantium revolt. At least it's not Constantinople because Constantinople gives like a million troops as well. It actually only has two castles, though. Brilliant, my wife is pregnant. Still waiting to have a son. Considering we're both lustful, I'd expect to have a son quicker, but... Oh, well. I guess she can't... I mean, she has been having a child, like, almost every year, so... At least, uh, yeah, I respect her for that. It's pretty nice she's of our religion as well. Might just help us out. Helps us out. Actually, I might hold a feast now. I could go on pr pilgrimage. As soon as I have a son, I'll go on pilgrimage. Because there is actually a chance you might die on pilgrimage. So, I want to make sure that doesn't happen to me. I'm not quite sure why their 5,000 men doesn't just go kill the, the enemy's 3,000. But they're deciding not to. Um, so yeah, we have to wait till November, which is coming up fairly soon. I could revoke his lands very easily. But he does like me. But I might just do it anyway. He does actually have some sons. A slow son. And a son with no traits yet. Oh, it's November. Let's hold a feast quickly. Hold a feast. This will be a feast to celebrate my son being born, because I believe in having a son. Oh yeah, we did march on with 3,000 men. Look at the crazy action. I will hire you for my feast, send out my marshal. And yeah, the Byzantine troops have absolutely slaughtered the rebels. And that's pretty much the war over. Spend lavishly on the food. You can actually gain the Gagarius trait if you spend meat moderately on all the food. Um, you do actually have a chance to gain the Gagarius straight, which is interesting. And not, not a lot of people actually know that. Um, it's a nice way to pick up plus two stewardship, I think, the Gagarius trait is. Or diplomacy. Finally, a son. We will call him. Uh, what should we call him? Alexander. Spelt really wrong, I assume. Finally, I have a son. That's brilliant. Cool. Let's try and improve on Marshall, maybe. I think improving our marshal would be uh, pretty vital. Because having... Yeah. This is a feast to celebrate my son being born. I knew it was, and it was. Let's also go on a pilgrimage. As soon as our feast is over. Um, some of your guests did not seem satisfied with food. What a dick. I actually spent a lot of money on my food. A total of 10 ducats. So um, I like to flirt. But I wouldn't do anything anymore. Yeah, I shouldn't flirt. I should be. My wife has bared me a son, so I should be. I should be nice to her, and not cheat. My keep is almost built, which should hopefully increase my levy size by five percent, which will be very, very nice. It's, yeah, just been built, 
and has given me a few more men, which is nice, or should do. Independence. I wonder who would actually join that faction. If anyone would actually join my independence faction. By the looks of it, they would not. Yeah. What we have to do is we just have to wait for... Oh no, he recently died. Can we murder him? We can't, unfortunately. What did he die? Have you done in battle? Against the Sultan. Yeah, again, Marshal. Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I might actually just hold a independence faction. I might send him a gift as well. Uh, no, I won't. It's like all my money. I want to actually try and marry into his family. Oh uh, yeah, let's hold the merchants because they normally give you a person. Uh, tell me about the tales and then someone will stay behind. Uh, that's very kind. I accept your gift. Timotheus. Timotheus, let's have a look for you. Timotheus, where for out are you? Timotheus, there you are. Um, you're actually a eunuch, but you do actually have pretty good stats, so you'll be probably be my spy master. You're a better spy master, you're not. Maybe in all in good time. So let's go ahead and betroth his daughter to my newly born son, Alexander. He will not. Why not? What is wrong with that? He is too young. Would prefer, I guess, I guess because he's the heir, he will not marry. How about we murder you? We could murder you, and then should be the heir. Let's do that. A lot of people will back it, which is kind of funny. Will you join my plot now? You should join my plot. I'll give me a hundred percent, or should do. Uh, let's try to get beaten up. We do actually manage to beat up the peasants and we're going to marshal. Our marshal is going up a lot. We're already at six marshals, so we've almost hit the eight cap. Which is brilliant. So yeah, how's our plot doing to murder him? We're at 92%. Need to get a little bit more. Um, you'll give me 13%. Let's send you a gift. And you should now join my plot. Oh, he died of poor health. How unfortunate. So we need to get a new marshal. Who should we get? He's 16. He's got some really nice traits, actually. So obviously we will go ahead and pick him up. He can train troops in my uh, capital. We should have over 100%. 110%. So he should be murdered sometime soon. Do I actually have some prisoners as well? I do have prisoners. You should get a chance to blind them as well. Um, let's see if we can just ransom them. Um, 46 gold, that's more than enough. And you won't give me 10 gold. I'm actually just going to release her because I always feel bad torturing females in my prison. So, just go. She was actually in Duchess as well, so I'm not sure why she would only give me 10 gold. It's kind of weird. Come on, have him killed. Because if, if he dies, then she is now in charge. I mean, I think she'll be a lot more easier to uh, manipulate. I'm not sure if it works like that. I hope it does. But, who knows. All our vassals are pretty happy with us. Which is nice. Why does he not like us? Uh, he disapproves of what? My wonderful son of one. He will be a wonderful Alexander. Is this thing still going on? They've still got 2,000 men. Jesus, we're winning it by 63%. I can't believe it's still going on. Who's trying to claim it? Is he trying to claim the... What does he get if he wins? Let's have a look. Well, he wants elective monarchy. That would actually be really nice for us. I'm half tempted to join it. But it's not going to happen by the looks of it. I'm conf... Yeah, we're on this side. We're on this side. Because he is a Byzantine Emperor. It's a shame that we, we're not going to win it. Or the, the Rebellion's not going to win. You know what I am. It might still win, but I doubt it. Um, because if it did win, then having an elective monarchy is really nice. It means I could get in charge of the Byzantine Empire very quickly. 
because all I have to do is make people like me. Add my daughter and request to Guardian. Let's go ahead and educate her. Uh, let's go and educate her myself actually for the meantime. Because I can educate two children, so I'll educate one of my daughters and my other son as well. Well, actually, only what I need to do as well is I need to, right at the end, before my son becomes of age, I need to change his tutor to a military tutor so he gets that education. Because I don't want him to get a diplomacy education because I want him to become a military powerhouse and lead our men, our great nation, to victory in many battles to come. So let's speed things up for the, the time being. How's our plot doing? We're at 103%. I would have assumed it would have fired by now. Let's go on Pilgrimage as well. Why not? Um, and let's go to the Holy Lands of Jerusalem. Because Jerusalem is not exactly that far away either. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's go to Jerusalem. And also, if someone murders him, and it's not my fault. I was off on Pilgrimage. Uh, so you lay awake at night reflecting on your pilgrimage, it's an inner journey as well as a physical one, but can you be sure what destination it will take, or what, yeah, what it will take on you, and even want to have the ceremony, yeah, my reading is not brilliant, I just messed up there, um, cool, let's see what we get, did we get anything? We got a mystic, that uh, improves our intrigue, and same trait opinion which is fine so we actually arrived at Jerusalem we also became zealous which is good because it means the Pope now loves us actually oh no we're not actually is the Pope because he's Catholic we're Orthodox what am I talking about I'm a madman I don't know why I fought for a second but we're the same um, okay cool so our marshal is actually eight now which is good I think zealous pushed that up yeah zealous Gives us plus two Marshall, which is brilliant. Uh, become the King of Greece. I do want to do that, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to do that this time. I just feel like it's going to be too hard to do it with this guy, but I do want to become the King of Greece at some point. That would be really nice. Did we win? Yeah, we won our, our little rebellion, which is nice. So we're actually just doing events which would increase our intrigue. Yes, we gain Deceitful and we finish our old... Yeah, we now have nine intrigue. That's lovely. So let's, wanna, let's have our thing, I guess, to amass wealth. Because that would be fairly easy to do and it'll give us a nice stewardship. So let's speed things up as well. Cause we're not really doing that much at the moment. Um, arbitrary is not great, so we do not want to have that for our daughter. And it also speeds things up whilst our son becomes of age. I really want to marry into his family. I really want him to die so I can marry into his family. Yeah, she does have some daughters down here though. The Duke of Athens. Could be nice to take him out. Because if we look at the Duke's... Duchies, yeah, so Epirus is here, that's who we're trying to get to marry at the moment, and then you've got Athens below Thessalonica, which is me, uh, so yeah, I kind of want to take these dukes out first, I want to have these dukes under me, um, that'll give me a really nice powerhouse, and also get me on my way to creating the Kingdom of Greece, so the Kingdom of Greece is fairly big, uh, surprisingly big, actually, so yeah, obviously it's the whole of Greece, and then it's, you know, Constantinople, and then some of uh, the land here as well. So who are we at war with now? The holy war for some land over here. So the holy war for this, which is cool. I'm actually, yeah, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to raise my men and go over and fight in it. Because, you know, it's it'll give me some nice prestige. I'm unmarried. Did my wife die? Oh no. Did my son get genius as well? He didn't. Oh my god, that's so like unlucky. She had a poor health. Let's get remarried then. I will get remarried at some point soon. Because it's, it's too risky only having one son. 
Um, so yeah, the duel is finally going to happen. I mean, the plot is finally going to happen to kill him. Hopefully it succeeds. If not, it's going to be kind of awkward. Especially if I get revealed. Yay, we managed to kill him. Lovely. Uh, does it say I killed him? It does say I killed him. Awkward. Um, now will you betroth to me? I don't think it works like that. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. How sad. Will you betroth to me? I am the king. I'm not a king yet. How unfortunate. Um, okay, cool. So I need to educate my other daughter. Sure, why not? You can educate her. I do not mind. So yeah, let's go over here and start taking part in some battles as well as besieging some lands. Hopefully we can actually get involved with this battle. It might just end before we get involved. Yeah, it will by the looks of it. Unfortunately. The Byzantine troops are too strong. Actually, I might actually, just, I might actually be able to kill these five... No, I'm not. I was about to say, before they had 1,800 men there, I was like, oh, I could easily take them, it'll be easy. But alas, all the 5,000 men are moving. I want to get involved in this battle, because it should actually increase my prestige by quite a lot, because we're fighting infidels. I don't think we can get the Crusader trait, because we are... Because we are not Catholic. So I don't think we actually get the... I don't think we get the Crusader trait, which is unfortunate because it's a really, really nice opinion buffer. As well as that, it gives you plus two martial or something. So it's a shame you don't get it, but that's fine. Just, just go ahead and proceed some lands. Let's just go ahead and proceed with this. I just need to be careful because this army keeps on looping round. It'll actually only have 800 men. But as long as I'm involved in something, that's cool. We're not going to get there in time, which is unfortunate. We might just... No. I'm just going to sit here and then I'm going to just attach my men to them. As soon as the 7,000 get here. And just let the Byzantians do what they want with my army. Um, attach, cool. So yeah, they're going to do what they want. And hopefully that brings me some good victories in battle. Uh, we gain diplomacy. I cannot afford it and lose the trade zealous. A young artist of works wants to do, draw me. Of course you can draw me, why not? Gain diplomacy. My diplomacy is really high now. I'm, like, overall, I've got a decent character. I'm 46, though, so I'm going to die soon. Well, fairly soon. It could be another 20 years. Hopefully it's at least another 10 years. Because I want to have my son of age, of course, like, obviously. Um, and we are actually pushing back. I am leading the armies, for whatever reason. Gain a bit of prestige. And we are going to just chase them down and slaughter the infidels. We've almost won this holy war as well. Which is pretty nice. That's going to gain all this extra land as well. Can we like call crusades or some like our version. The orthodox version of crusades. I doubt it. Can I kill him? I can't. How oh, sad. Where even is he? Is he just chilling? So yeah, we actually win the Holy War. Um, we took these provinces by the looks of it. I kind of spam my men. Um, yeah, so by the looks of it, we took these two provinces, I think it is, which is nice, you know, that expands our borders. 25 gold, brilliant. Especially because we got hold Sicily as well. It just makes our empire look a lot nicer than it was originally. So I need to get married as well. Don't I? I do indeed, Jake. Um, cool, so let's get, go ahead and get remarried. Can we get an alliance with someone? Like, I want to kind of obviously start using my alliances more strategically. I want to get... She's actually... The mum died as well. Did she die of a broken heart? I really want this lamb, but for whatever reason I can't... Because I only have one son as well. I can't marry into it. I can't, like, take it for myself. We should probably just start fabricating claims on our land. It'd probably be so much easier. Even though our... our 
our diplomacy is pretty low on that dude, so it's going to take a while. Um, can I marry any of your daughters? How old are they? They're 10 years old. And you just have sons as well, which means I can actually marry my daughter to you, giving me an alliance with you. So let's arrange a betrothal. Let's see if you are game with it. You will be game. Yeah, cool. So let's go ahead and marry one of my daughters to one of these guys. Which is good. He will accept it. So that will give me a nice alliance with the Duke of whatever this one's called. Do you have any daughters? You do actually have a daughter. I might marry my son to you. Because having this bit of land might be really nice. What do you actually own? What are you the Duke of? You're just the Duke of empty places. And you're just a free count by the looks of it. With just daughters. You will actually marry... Is that your heir? That's not your heir. Who's your heir? Is her, yeah. And you're married to me. Lovely. Let's... Let's sort out that marriage then. Adopt your ideas. We gain more uh, technology. Brilliant. Yeah, let's definitely do that. Because then it means... Our children will battle become under me. All I have to do is kill him and then kill her and then I get that land. That's fairly stupid. What a silly man. That's like some of the easiest land I've ever taken. <laughs> I'll probably die before then, but if that happens, I'll just betroth her to my son. But it's just easier because my son's of a younger age. So, instead of our children, because our children won't be my heir if I have children with her. So, pretty much the idea is just straight away murder him, murder her, take the land for myself. That's like literally the plan from the offset. Um, but I think it's coming up to 20 minutes now, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode here. We haven't really done a lot of this episode. We fought in the Holy War, which was kind of cool. Um, and we're just making plans pretty much. So, next episode, we will hopefully finish our marriage. And then we will go ahead and take this land. We'll kill off like four people to gain that land. But you know, that'll be a nice county towards me. What is it? What is even the de jure? Uh, the county of this. So it's actually some Bulgarian territory. So yeah, then we'll, we'll try and take some more lands from the Greeks down here. And yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, please do go ahead and subscribe and like. That'd be awesome if you could. Um, yeah, it'd really help me out and also make sure to comment as well telling me what you enjoyed, what you think I should do next. That'd be cool as well. And I'll see you guys next time and push up.